What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today guys, we're just gonna get straight into working on the hood. Sorry for keeping you all waiting, but um, you guys will see why it took me a couple days to get this video out. Uh, guys at this point now that we have it all sanded down um there are there are some imperfections like i mean that's not the imperfection it's a little bit wavy here it's been in like it has a little bit of a buckle right there it's not that big of a deal and there's one really small one right here as you guys can see uh, very small minor stuff that over there is a kind of a pretty decent buckle but as for us right now we just want to learn how to paint that's the main goal for us we're going to take it one step at a time with you guys so in these videos i'm going to show you guys how to paint down the road we'll show you guys how to do body work we're not going to we're not professionals so we're not trying to just get ahead of ourselves here we're just going to focus on prepping stuff for paint and that's what i'm going to show you guys so yeah we did 60 grit 220 grit now we're just going to wipe it all down with some acetone and then get ready for some primer Finally guys, Devon showed up. That only took three and a half years. This guy. Flexing on this. Anyways, yeah guys, so this hood is pretty much acetone. Everything is good to go. This hood is pretty much ready to go. So the only thing now we gotta do is get a place so we can actually uh, set it up and then start painting it. Nothing to do it back there. No, no, we can bring a table right here and do it. Okay. Bring it light to make life easier. Do you have a table? Yeah, I'll bring one real quick. Uh, all right guys, so right now we're pretty much getting everything to do the primer. We pretty much already put the acetone, we sanded the hood, everything's good to go. So now, we're looking for, what do we need for primer? Primer, so primer Just and primer. hardener. The hardener is right there. Primer's right here. So that is our primer. It's white. Um, I wish we got black, but that's light. Anyways, so. Explain what you're oh. doing right now. Free Harbor Freight tarps coming in clutch. <laughs> for real. All right, guys, this is currently, oh, hold on. We almost forgot about this little hardener thing right here. So this is our current setup. I think it looks pretty, oh, we're missing something. Uh, oh no, here's a primer. So that goes with that. But yeah, we got everything right here. We got our filters, we got our mixing cups, all that good stuff. Um, we got our primer gun. Uh, the primer gun doesn't, doesn't need to be that great of a gun, but we got our paint gun right here. This is all the stuff we got. So we got our paint, about three fourths, and then we have acetone, we have paint hardener, we have clear coat hardener, clear coat, primer, primer hardener. So yeah, that's everything here. We got a little table going. These are the ones we got from the shop, but you you okay, have yeah, some, right? They're in the next spot. Oh, no, no, I have them right here. This is what Devon bought us right here, right? Yeah. All right, you wanna show them what's in there? Be a little bit. Better or worse? I don't know if we wanna mix, because we're not like trying to mix it all at once. Yeah, 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 we're trying to mix a little bit right now. Right, so oh no, these things are huge, bro. Yeah, these are huge, I, I yeah. won't mixing that right now. But, so oh, okay. They're pretty similar. But there's some smaller ones in there, pretty small ones. Oh yeah, yeah, some really small ones in there too. And some extra sticks, filters, cool. and lids for them too. Guys, like honestly, if there is something you guys want to go try in life, like dude, this cost us this whole setup right here, cost us under $600. And if you guys can, you know, you have plenty of attempts, if you're just trying to paint a bumper, you have literally 10 attempts before you have to take it down to the shop. <laughs> you can't mess up that bad. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just exciting for me. We all enjoy this kind of stuff. So if you guys are excited to see how this comes out, stay tuned. We are painting it outside, but there is no, it's not windy at all. I want to do it in the middle of the driveway. So hopefully no paint gets on anywhere. All right guys, so right now, um, we're just gonna go ahead and set up the gun. There's a lot of things we gotta start cleaning up around here, but um, we'll deal with that stuff later. Let's go ahead and get all this. Yeah. So yeah, I saw that the gun. Now we got the finally the gun is ready and everything. That's so yeah, um, I think we are ready to go. So at this point, we're just gonna go ahead and mix up the primer with the uh, hardener. Yeah. And then we should be good to go. Let's get to, let's get to it. Exactly. So we're good on hardening. So then probably should put the primer in here, right? Looks pretty good. Never up, never die. Should I taste it? Taste test. Taste test. Taste test. Taste test. Taste test. Is that good? <laughs> <laughs> so we get here, or what are we looking at? Uh, we need about, so we need a little bit more. So How many ounces? We're going for 16 ounces, one and a half for it, right? I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine, but I get up, I always do, I never... 
All right, guys, so uh, basically, I'm gonna go ahead and put on a jacket when you actually do the paint for the primer. It's not that big of a deal, so we're just getting our safety gear on and uh, we'll get ready for some primer. Oh, shit. Are we good? <laughs> Here we go? Yeah. Alright guys, so basically we're actually calling it a day. The primer, um, it's dry to the feel, but you also feel it's kind of sticky, which means it's wet. So we're gonna actually go ahead and wait for it to dry in two days. I mean, you just have to wait like a day, but we're gonna do two days because me and Devon's got school tomorrow, a long day of school. So yeah, so uh, we'll catch you guys Wednesday. Hey guys, welcome back. So this is actually day two, same video for you guys, but the hood is finally dry. It's been about two days, right? We went above and beyond. <laughs> But yeah, uh, Devon, what happened? So we were just busy. Honestly, with life and school and stuff. Uh, so yeah, Devon is over right now. This feels really good. You guys can finally see the damage this hood had. In these videos, guys, we're not really showing you guys how to do body work. We're just showing you guys how to paint um, because that's what we're trying to focus on as well. And then down the road, um, if, we, if we really care about this car, really, we can fix the hood and do all that stuff. Um, but we're just testing our painting skills and that's what we're gonna be showing you guys. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's focus on one thing at a time and get this thing outside so we can start sanding it and get it prepped for paint. Alright guys, so the hood was sanded down 400 grit completely um, to get all the major things off and now it's looking really smooth. And then we went ahead and went over the whole thing with 600 grit. So yeah, now it's like pretty smooth. Obviously we can go with like 2000 to make it buttery smooth, but that's not the point. We're trying right now getting it to uh, stick with paint. So 600 is pretty much the like max I would do. And then now, honestly, we're going to set up a booth, get this thing inside the garage because it's super windy out today, and then uh, start painting it. We just got to, you know, pretty much mask around the whole thing. We have a little booth made for and then start painting this little guy. So you guys have probably already seen us work on this little PVC thing in uh, yesterday's video or two days ago. Uh, basically, I wanted to actually make this a separate video for everyone who's wondering how to make a paint boost so that was of course a separate video now we have, we're about to just cut to the points we're gonna start uh, prepping this uh, this hood there so yeah guys it's finally in here so shout out to Devon we spent how many hours on this it's like a, almost 11 hours 11 hours putting together this uh, this freak show of a tent <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so shout out to Devon he's he's the one with the 335 the famous E92 that that $1,000 E92 right yeah yeah, that was, yeah it was, I wanted to keep it for a while but Nah, nah, he, he, he upgraded to a 335, so yeah. no one's tripping. It was a manual, so I had to. Exactly, 335 manual, guys. He made the right choice. Um, and so he's gonna be he's gonna be still doing a lot of things to C35. So if you guys are like, if you guys love BMW content, which I know most of y'all do, make sure to check out his channel. Link down in the description. He's gonna be also helping me primer, paint, do all this good stuff to the car, to the hood. Um, so if you guys do appreciate him for that, again, check him out down below. Shout out to Devon, I appreciate you, my dude. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and start mixing the paint, get everything set up, so we can start painting this hood. All right, Devon, so what are we doing right now? All right, guys, so the only thing we're changing up, we're doing 12, uh, we're doing 12 ounces of paint and then 12 ounces of thinner. I'm hoping what I said could make you change your mind. Because we need to. Yeah, that looks like black, to be honest. We ordered gray. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> we need to put on these masks real quick. All right, guys, you're ready to go? Uh, let's start mixing this, uh, this paint. My only way to you is gone. What color? Is this brown? <laughs> is this brown, dude? Um, yeah, that's not an auto gray, my G. <laughs> Get that formation going, my dude.
Guys, check that out. It looks so good. Don't mind the dent there because that's not what we're trying to teach you guys in this video. And we're not really teaching you guys anything. We're just showing you guys firsthand what we can accomplish in, a, in our own garage. So it looks really promising. We just need to wait for it to dry in about 24 hours. We'll show you guys the results uh, tomorrow. All right, guys, we're just gonna go ahead and set up the tank. Uh, this is day three. Yeah, we're just gonna go with the flow, but um, let's see what's going on. Let me show you guys how the hood looks. Um, this is after leaving it for about two days. You only need to leave about 24 hours. The paint looks really good. You guys can still see all the dents on the hood. We honestly, I do have kind of regrets. I wish we fixed these dents, but um, that's fine. That's whatever. But honestly, guys, it looks really good. I cannot wait. You guys can see more dents there, dents here, dents there. That's life. Anywho, um, <laughs> let's go ahead and clean it all off, put some clear coat, and uh, wait another two days before polish. We're gonna be mixing the clear coat, clear coat activator. It is a one to two ratio. So one part activator to two parts clear coat. We're gonna do about 24 ounces of total clear coat. It smells really good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so this is officially uh, the final day. So we're gonna go ahead, get everything outside of the this little caboose, get it outside, sand it down, polish it, and then we can finally see how the hood looks. Obviously the hood has a lot of imperfections, but we're mainly paying attention to the paint and how it came out because that's what we're doing to the rest of this car. That's just a, that's just a sample, we're just practicing on this hood, but we might end up using that hood on this car. We'll see. Alright guys, so uh, first thing we're doing after we sanded it with 1500 grit and then 2000 grit to just pretty much get off uh, most of the scratching surfaces off of it, if that's how you call it. We're using Ultra Cut Compound. This is a lot cheaper at Walmart, so don't get this from Harbor Freight, get this from Walmart. And uh, we're just gonna apply a quick little dab around it and then use this at 15, set the setting at 15, which is 1500 RPMs. And then basically I'm gonna show you guys uh, the pattern. Just, just watch the video, you guys will see how I do it. Hey guys, so uh, this is where we're sitting right now. So here's the hood, fully polished. Um, as you guys can see, uh, I can put my hand on it finally. And uh, obviously there's some fingerprints and stuff like that. Uh, but oh my God, guys, check that out with the light as well. That looks really good and that's the dent. I mean, don't mind that, we didn't, we didn't fix that. But check that out, that looks super good, especially for our first time. If you guys look at that, I think that looks absolutely insane. Um, Obviously, we still need to put it on the car and paint the whole car to really see the whole car to see if it looks really good. But this, guys, I'm telling you, this hood has a lot of imperfections, but oh my goodness, like the paint itself and the process to do the paint, this came out looking really good. I, I can't even, you guys, this is all just hand press. Let me just go ahead and wipe this corner right here. Check out this corner. This is how it looks throughout the entire thing. This looks superb. I honestly cannot believe, again, we have flaws with the, with the hood itself, but if you guys look at the paint, that looks really good in my opinion. All right guys, we're just pulling the car in. Oh man. That's good, that's honestly perfect. 
It barely fits. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. It is the night. Your boy is disgusting. Not really disgusting. Just got a whole bunch of paint and stuff on me. Actually, no, not paint. What is the whatever the heck you do when you do the foaming thing in McBomber? Anyway, shout out to Jonathan for the lighting. Make it look better this way. Anyways, so yeah, that pretty much is a wrap of the hood. The, the hood, honestly, in our opinion, it came out really good, right? Dude, it looks it's like, so smooth. It seriously looks insane. It looks. Like, would yeah. you recommend this over a makeup paint job? 100%. 100%. Yeah. Right? 100%. For sure. Dude, Way Mako better. Is just, like, bro, for the first time? <laughs> for our first time, oh Makos are God. like, I, I would consider Makos professionals because they do it all the damn time, right? It, but like, they don't sand and they don't like do everything. They don't do, it's yeah. fast. Yeah. It's meant to be fast. We went by the books and I think it came out absolutely insane. So pretty stoked on that. Now we're ready for the whole car. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash the like button. We're gonna be working through the car. We're not really showing you guys the steps. We basically showed you guys the steps in this video. So if, if you guys like the way this video was set up, we could do it the same way for the whole car if you guys want. So let us know in the comments. And without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have words.